unconscious husband, meet her love in silence. Download the Mobo Reader app to read the novel Unconscious Husband, Meet Her Love in Silence, Full Story Online. Chapter 3, He Woke Up. Ariana and Jasper were both taken aback by the sudden revelation that Theodore had awakened from his coma. Jasper's face contorted with anger as he tightened his grip on Ariana's arm, accusing her of deception. You lied to me? What I saw last night wasn't an illusion. You knew Theodore woke up, didn't you? That's why you've been acting so strange today. Ariana refused to explain, her expression turning into a sneer as she shrugged off Jasper's grasp, leaving him behind as she followed the servant's lead. Jasper seethed with anger, his fists clenching as he watched her retreating form. He kicked a nearby flower pot in frustration, the sound of shattering pottery echoing through the garden. The sprawling Anderson's estate was a maze of hallways and rooms, adorned with vibrant flowers in every shade. Ariana made her way down the endless corridor, lost in her thoughts and worries. She finally reached the small villa where Theodore was recuperating, nestled behind the lush garden. The peaceful surroundings were bathed in warm sunlight, a sharp contrast to the chaos in Ariana's mind. She couldn't shake the worries that clouded her thoughts, unsure if Theodore had awoken during the night or overheard her conversation with Jasper. Ariana's heart raced as she contemplated what would happen if Theodore had heard the conversation between her and Jasper. Her face was drained of color, her eyes filled with fear. Her husband was known to be cruel and merciless, with power and connections that reached far and wide, even among the police and gangs. Those who dared to cross him often met with a grisly fate. Ma'am, here we are. Ariana was jolted back to reality by the servant's voice. She breathed deeply, steeled herself, and took a slow step inside. Coincidentally, Darian dashed toward her, both of them exchanging brief greetings. And in silence, they walked through the villa's entrance. A group of doctors encircled Theodore on the huge bed as they approached. After the examination, the attending doctor sighed and said, Although Mr. Theodore Anderson has regained consciousness, the accident has taken a toll on his body particularly his legs. They are too damaged, and he will never be able to walk normally again. Physiotherapy will take a long time. Darian's disbelief was palpable. You mean he's, he's disabled? Ariana frowned, and to her surprise, she glimpsed relief in Darian's expression. I'm afraid so, the doctor admitted with deep regret. I see. You can leave now. With a flick of his wrist, Darian dismissed the doctors and turned his attention to Theodore, wearing an unusually soft smile. Rest well, Theodore. You shouldn't worry about anything else. I'll find the best doctor to treat your legs. Then, Darian turned to Ariana and said, you may have to take care of Theodore from now on. Ariana almost wanted to roll her eyes at Darian. She couldn't help but think that he was making her his son's caregiver. Theodore sat propped up against the headboard, his eyes filled with an icy indifference that sent shivers down anyone's spine. He seemed aloof and detached from everything around him, his face shrouded with an icy chill. Finally, he looked up and locked his gaze with Darian's, asking in a frigid tone, Who is she? Ariana was taken aback by Theodore's short question, unsure how to respond to him. Her heart raced, and her mind raced faster. She didn't even know how to introduce herself to him. 
The thought of Theodore being able to leave this arranged marriage at any moment caused Ariana to shiver. She had to see her plan through, otherwise, it would all be for nothing. She is your wife, Ariana Edwards, Darian said. Theodore's expression turned colder. I don't remember having a wife. Where did you find this liar, he said, disdain dripping from his words. I arranged her for you, Darian replied in a tone that was uncharacteristically sharp. Everyone knows it. But Theodore wasn't going to let it go so easily. Then I'll divorce her, he spat. Not just anyone can be my wife. If you want someone to take care of me, you'd better hire a caregiver directly. The words hung in the air, freezing the already tense atmosphere. Darian's face twitched with anger, but he restrained himself. Divorce is impossible, he said through gritted teeth. Theodore sneered at Darian. What right do you have to make decisions for me? The tension was palpable in the room as Ariana stood. She felt like a mere onlooker to the father and son's tumultuous relationship. Darian's voice quivered with fury as he growled, it was already decided. Ariana just underwent the artificial insemination surgery, and there's a chance she's carrying your child. Theodore's eyes snapped to Ariana, scanning her form as if she was a mere object. It felt like an eternity before he chuckled and asked Ariana, So, which do you prefer, surgical abortion or medication abortion? Download the Mobo Reader app to read the novel Unconscious Husband. Meet her love in silence, full story online.